Hello sunny one and beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel and for those of you who do not know me yet my name is Tenjiwe and I'm your favorite South African comedian who somehow found herself surviving on tea and biscuits and dodging rain every day here in the UK and it's so good to have you here guys and i'm so grateful that you decided to click to watch this video and for my for my long time subscribers whether you subscribe to this channel or my other youtube channels or whether you know me through my live comedy it is so good to have you here it's so good to have you back thank you so much for clicking this video and it's so good it's like it's like getting a warm hug when i when I do these videos and I get to chat with you guys so thank you so much I do appreciate you spending your time on my chat now and it's so great to see you guys I've missed you I've missed you like I miss my mom's cooking back home and even though I'm a good cook I'm a decent cook but they are just those meals that need to be cooked at home as in in South Africa or if you are not South African but you live away from your home country, you would understand what I mean. For you, what is that food? Please put it in the comment section. What is that food that m makes you miss home? That's, what's, what's, what's your soul food? What's your one meal? That is just, your, if someone was to say, we can only bring you one meal, one dish from your home country, what would you choose? And I, I'm excited. I'm excited with this video because I'm going to be doing, is it mukbang, mukbang? I can't, I can't pronounce it, I, but I'm going to be doing that with a bunny chow, guys. A bunny chow. Let me know if you know what a bunny chow is. Have you ever had a bunny chow? A bunny chow is this meal, which is one of my favorite dishes from South Africa. It's mainly more popular in Durban, which is where I come from. It's uh, because in Durban, we are basically the capital city of India because we have more Indians outside of India. So our food, our cuisine is very influenced by the Indian culture. Uh, we won't go to the history of how they got there. Uh, but bunny chow is one of the most popular dishes in Durban, South Africa. And today I'm going to be having that. It's basically you get bread, you open it which you will see me do in a minute and then you fill it up with your curry it can be beef curry lamb or mutton chicken beans fish anything and i'm having my favorite which is mutton curry mutton bunny chow is the best for me it's mutton on top followed by beans and then the rest just follow behind that so i'm having my absolute favorite i'm so excited i had it here in england i got it from the red bull road house in basingstoke if you haven't been there you are missing out uh, they sell the best south african food they even sell savannah guys ha it's dark but you can drink it they sell everything but this is not savannah disclaimer this is not savannah uh, but you want savannah beers from home anything you want built on you go there and the vibe is also very very good it's such a good vibe there are so many lovely south africans i was performing there last night i had a show there and uh, they blessed me with a bunny chow the chef is from durban i can't wait to taste it okay let me start preparing my bunny chow and they say our i'm going to be using my hands which is what we use and uh the food just tastes better when you use your own hands and i trust the cleanliness of my own hands more than i trust a spoon whose mouth i don't even know whose mouth it's been in but anyway we're not there we're talking about bunny chow i'm so excited you need to go to the roadhouse and they also do the best comedy shows and the show i did last night was really really good and thanks to everyone who was there who came it was sold out it was really really good so this is how you eat a bunny chow and the bread this bread because sometimes i've had bunny chow here in england but it's hard to find bread that's bread from bread from home 
that's like bread from home so you open it hollow and then you put your filling Whew, i can't wait i can't wait to taste this it's nice it's smelling so good and you know that food tastes even better the day after so i'm so glad that i waited to eat it today and okay and this is the gravy oh my word they even gave me gravy this is good guys this is good this is the smell is just so good so basically this is bunny chow okay give me one second because i have to take a photo of my bunny chow i'll be back yes photo taken let's indulge let us indulge so where were we this is really special for me guys this is really special to be chowing down on my favorite dish bunny chow mm. 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 it's so good it's like a warm hug oh it tastes like i'm eating it in durban it's even windy and raining outside but now i feel warm i can feel the warmth from durban because you know in durban we only have two seasons it's either hot or very hot and like here so mm. I'm not used to be multitasking like this, like eating and talking at the same time. So please do excuse me. And uh, let's get back to reintroducing myself. I started my YouTube journey back in 2009 with a channel, which was in my home language, which is Zulu, Isi Zulu. And uh, I was just doing it to make everyone laugh, doing comedy skits. The reason I did it is because I was already doing stand-up comedy, but I was doing stand-up comedy abroad and I was performing in English. And there would be things that I wanted to say. Was it 2009 or 2013? I can't remember. I'll confirm. I'll, I'll write down whether it was 2009 or 2013. Something just told me, perhaps 2013. But anyway, I just started... creating videos before content creation was a job but there would be things i would want to say on stage and then realize only people from home can understand it or it will only be funny in my home language so i started creating videos and my my channel did very well it's still doing very well and i was very very happy with it Whew. So fast forward to now, and here I am creating videos in English. And that is because my followers are literally from everywhere, uh, from all over the world. I've been fortunate to perform all around the world. And when people come to my channel, they find only Zulu videos. It's, it's not nice, it's not fair to them, and it's not nice to my algorithm as well, because my algorithm, I don't like the look of this. My algorithm just starts thinking, oh, people do not like your content because they are watching for a few seconds and leaving the video. But that's because they don't understand the language, because I am a global icon, I am a global comedian. This is why I opened this video. And believe you me, I'll still be dropping some Zulu words. Like every time I greet you guys, I'm like, hello, Sunny Bonani. And Sunny Bonani is a very Zulu word. And um, so I still dropped a bit of Zulu here and there. If you are a speaker of more than one language or if English is not your first language, let me know. Are the words that you constantly drop when you are speaking English your own mother tongue? Mm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
yeah so i do uh, travel a lot and let's be honest uh, my suitcase alone has more traveling air miles than uh I, like my air miles are possibly the same as some pilots because of the nature of my job that's why i gain a lot of support from people who are non-english speakers and who want to come and support me online but if they come here and find zulu so if you do understand zulu i still have the zulu channel please subscribe to both channels i would really really appreciate that and um what are my future plans my future plans are now that i'm here i promise to put the pedal on the metal and start creating more content i need to start creating more content i have so many ideas i in fact i have a lot of videos that i've done i just don't get time to edit i don't get time to post but now i have a schedule that i think will work um if i can just do two videos a week you guys let me know what kind of content do you like do you like sit down videos do you like stand up comedy clips do you like uh, vlogs do you like live videos which ones do you think i should focus more on so that i can focus on the ones that you guys are most likely to watch and um uh, mm. Also, comedy sketches. Do you like comedy sketches? Do you want me to do English skits? English comedy sketches? Let me know. So that I know how to roll with this channel. I know what to do. Hey. Um, I won't be doing any cooking. So you you won't be seeing me try out, uh, try to cook a bunny chow. Uh. this is good so yeah that's basically what i want to do and yes i still do uh, my zulu content you will still find a lot of that as well i've got a lot of content i've shot so now i've got an editor and i think it's gonna be much much more realistic to post at least twice a week and um, so that's basically it and please let me know if you know me not from here but from elsewhere let me know where did we meet how did we meet let me know in the comment section as i would like to know where we know each other from mm. as you are missing out i so wish i could share this with you it is so yummy so proper yummy and I'm going to an event this evening. I won't even want their food because I'm going to be so full. I'm just going to tell them, oh, I'm on diet. I'll only have a salad. Gandhi, I know. What's me now? I just had half a loaf of bread full of curry inside. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I've just chewed, you know, that thing. Mm. It will be rude to take it out. So I have to chew it and swallow it now. You know that tree-like thing that you find in the biryani mix, in the curry mix? Ooh. Yeah, it's strong. It's very, very strong. Yeah, so this is me and my bunny chow. Let me know, guys. Do you know a bunny chow? Are you going to be trying out a bunny chow recipe? There are so many of them here on YouTube. Uh, in the comment section, I will add a link of my favorite uh, bunny chow recipe from YouTube because I want you to try it. And if you live next to a place that sells it, please go and buy it. In Durban, I used to buy it from Oriental. They do the best for me. They were my favorite. On Johannesburg, I never really found a place that does good uh, Indian food. But in Durban, there are so many. You get spoiled for choice. But for me, Oriental, for Briyani, for Bunny Chow was the best, was the one. And this Bunny Chow I'm eating now is like identical to the one from Oriental. I'm sure they, they, they import their spices from home. Okay. 
there's no way that the Red Bull Roadhouse is cooking us such a good bunny chow with spices from Sainsbury's or Tesco. Nope. They they gotta be getting them from home. Mm. And guys, if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Please do watch my old videos. I want to try and grow this channel and I'm going to be serious. And what I'm going to do is in October, I'm doing, uh, is it, no, Vlogmas is December. What's the one you do in the month of October? I almost said Octovlog, but that one. I'm doing that one where I'm going to be posting every day for the month of October. And I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to post long form videos every day, but every day something will go up on the channel, whether it's a short or a video. And um, that's to show how serious I am with go, uh, with coming back and uh, being full time because I love creating content. I enjoy creating content and I think the older I get, I see less and less of people of my age on YouTube. But I think it's so important to have different ages so that we can learn from different people so that you guys who come behind us uh, can avoid some of the mistakes that we have made and your lives can be better. So I'm thinking of doing things that talk about being in my 40s and lessons I've learned and try and make it easy for you guys so that you don't go through the things I've gone through. You don't make the mistakes I've made. And yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to do that as a series. Uh -huh. I just finished my project. It's called a project. I don't know what to call it, but YouTube basically chose women to be mentors for women of YouTube. And I was one of the mentors. I had 30 mentees from all over Africa. This was a beautiful, beautiful project. And I want to continue uh, helping people because a lot of people, especially in third world countries like where I come from, do not know that you can actually make a living from being a content creator. So I just want to continue educating people and teaching them on how they can grow their channels, what they can do, to, just so that they can at least have something they are doing because the level of unemployment is unbelievably high. Uh, I want to do I want to do that and uh, get back to doing more comedy sketches. For, for both my English and my Zulu channels and but that, that basically it so thank you so much guys for watching really really appreciate you and I wish you nothing but the best the bunny chow is tops 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 I give it a nine and a half out of ten the only reason it's losing the half it because it doesn't have you know that salad that bunny chow salad man it doesn't have that that's the only thing it's missing but the taste is 100 percent the bread i'm very impressed with the bread because it's so hard to find this sort of bread here in england so they did really really well with doing it with this bread and do try out a bunny chow and do let me know how what it tastes like if you have already tried it let me know what did you think of it and if you do live in England, go actually fly from other countries to go to the to, to, to the roadhouse to try out their bunny chow. Or just go on YouTube and watch uh, for how to cook it. Mm -mm. Thank you so much, guys. I love you and I appreciate you. I appreciate you spending your time on this channel. Please do not forget to subscribe like comment and share subscription is free mahala cheers guys bye